was a wall in our kitchen that needed a little extra love. It had been bare for a few years and my plan was to make it into a little breakfast nook. I had this recessed light over top of a table that I had made using Anna White plans and I wanted to convert that recessed light into a pendant light with a basket that I found at HomeSense. I found both of these kits at Home Depot for under $20. This is what the Recess Light Converter Kit looks like when I opened it up. You could certainly do this DIY with just a plug-in swag light, but I am going to need a pendant light. I will unscrew that piece and run the wire through the basket in the center before attaching it to the ceiling. After a hard day's work, this was a project that my wife asked me to do as soon as I came in through the door thinking it would be easy enough. So I said yes. <laughs> and I was surprised. <laughs> and my wife was surprised that I didn't complain. <laughs> See, a couple of months ago, I decided anything I can do to try and make it easier for her to be married to me, that's what I'll do. <laughs> now I'm up on a ladder <laughs> doing electrical work. <laughs> Because our recessed light is slightly off center from the table, I'm going to need to suspend this basket slightly to the left, which means I'm going to need to hang it independently. So I chose to use this jute string. I triple knotted it, and I'll just tuck that piece down into the weave of the basket so it's not visible. I crossed the span of the basket twice, and as you can see, with four touch points on the basket, it'll help it to hang more evenly. Doubled up the string just to give it some extra strength. And then we'll attach a hook to the ceiling right above the table. I ran the wire through the center of the basket and made sure that it hung where we wanted it to before we did the final wiring. I did end up having to use an additional length of string just to get the basket to suspend where I wanted it to. I said you did shut the electric off, right? I guess we'll find out. All right. <laughs> After everything was wired and hung, the last step was to paint the pendant light white to blend in with the wall and the ceiling and just to make the basket stand out. Here's a little close up of the wire passing through the basket. It's slightly off center to avoid that knot in the middle, but it's not really noticeable. I ran that portion through before we attached it to the plate and the ceiling. I'm really happy with how this turned out and how it made this side of the kitchen usable and beautiful and we've enjoyed spending breakfasts out here with the kids before school starts. This is a project that could certainly be done in an hour or two, and if you use that plug-in option, you really have endless possibilities of where and how you could use this basket pendant. If you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button to receive more videos, and tap that little bell to receive notifications. Until next time,